Alright guys, I'm back and now I'm about to um, show you guys and talk about what else I need to talk about. So, let's get to it. Um, this is going to be my first time doing it on camera, so bear with me. I'm going to put Wing Zero in its, um, what's it called, the atmosphere entry mode. So what you do is, well what I do is I put the head as far back as I can. I, well, you do have to do this anyway. Take the wings, pull them out, drop them. That's why they're flimsy. That's the only reason why they're flimsy. You do the same for the opposite. I know I'm really slow at this, but like I said, this is my first time doing it on camera, so bear with me. Uh, do that. Um, wings, whatever. Do whatever you want with the wings. Then, what you do with the legs, they're double jointed for a reason, so here's what you do. Do that, and this is going to be a little bit nostalgic. It's exactly like it's kind of like the same thing you do with the wing Gundam. So let me do that again a little bit slower, in case you didn't catch that. Hold it this way. Take this part of the leg, push it forward. And hopefully that. There you go. Hopefully that joint will just stay in place, and there you go. Then you just just put the feet down like that. Got it? Do the same for the other side. I will never ever put my wing zero in this pose ever. Tell you, tell you that right now. Do the same with the feet. Do that. I'm gonna do a very slacky job of this. Then, take the wings, yep, take the wings, again, you do that, then you bring the wings forward, you do that, or adjust it any way you want it, or whatnot. You take that, in case you didn't see it last time, do the same, oh, come on. do the same, and there's there, you see that right there? Uh oh, one wing fell off. Scoot those wings forward, forward like you just saw me do. Then, just like the hydrate, connect them just like that. As you can see, I did this very wrong because his face isn't showing. But you guys get the idea. Close it. And there's your at well my <laughs> atmosphere entry mode. Very slacky. Like I said, it's my first time doing it on screen. Actually it's my first time doing it ever. I don't like this pose. I, I don't like this atmosphere entry thing. I mean it looks nice, but whatever. Well, let's put him aside because I'm tired of messing around with him, I am very delicate with him usually, but I have to read it, right? Comes with a stand, gray stand, it's just like the, well, I think it's just like the ones you get from uh, the seed line. Simple gray, um, I'm gonna spray paint it white, and also Yeah, for most master grades, I guess they come with decals, extra decals. One of them is dry transfer, and one of them is like wet transfer. I think it's this one, and I think these are the dry transfers. So what I'm gonna do with Wing Zero or everything it came with, pretty much, is I'm gonna take that, the Wing Zero code, the xxxg 0 w 0 place it on the bottom after it's spray painted white. I'm going to customize this stand. I'm going to place some of the other decals on Wing Zero and you guys are going to see it in the slideshow that I'm going to do. 
Yeah, I'm also going to do slideshows from my Gundam models, you know, what the hell, why not? I don't show you guys the poses, so I might as well just show them off in slideshows. Um, I don't know, um, what else? Oh yeah, as for picking up Wing Zero Custom, I would say go get it. It's a fun model to make, um, even if you're not a fan of, like, even if you're not a fan of Wing Zero. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a pretty fun model to make, it's nice to have around, it's very flashy. He may not be perfect in body proportions, he's not, he isn't the tallest Gundam. Um, but still, I'd, I'd pick him up, it's, it's fun to have, you can, if you are a fan of Wing Zero, then you shouldn't even like take my word for it, just go pick it up. I mean, you've already seen what he's capable of doing. Um, if you aren't satisfied with the Master Grade version, then go ahead and go kill like a few hundred dollars and pick up the Perfect Grade version. I mean, it's, the, it's to me the next best thing. I think the best one is this one, the Master Grade version. Just because because I could uh, mess around with the wings, and one thing, you can actually you can put it in his uh, Buster Rifle signature pose much easier and much more proper. Because I hear the problem with the perfect grade wing zero is, yeah, the arms may go forward, but the body, the torso, can, can't exactly fold or bend as far as the master grade could. So I think that's why they decided to make the master grade version to make up for what the perfect grade missed. Um, yep, pick one up, it's fun to have, um, I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say, uh, I'm just ranting right now, um, god, it, I mean, look, look, just look, if just looking at it does not make you want to pick them up, then, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what will. I'm just really happy that I finally finished Wing Zero. I'm relieved that I'm that I'm done reviewing it. Um, I <laughs> I the, the plans that I have for him are it's just gonna take some time. So if you guys want to see those uh, those dry transfer decals put on, um, yeah, just don't look forward to it. It's gonna take some time. I still have, you know, tutorial videos. I actually need these dry transfer decals for tutorials. For one, I need to learn it myself, and two, I need to show you guys how to do it. So, look forward to those first. But, what you guys really need to look forward first is my Armored Core model, which is nearly done. I haven't actually worked on him since the other day, but he's nearly done. Um, I'm really juiced. He looks really nice, even without his other, his other leg. It looks really nice, and I'm starting to become proud of it enough that I want to pick up another one. Um, speaking of that, um, well, forget it. I'll just tell you guys in another update. So yeah, Master Grade Wing Zero Custom. Don't expect too much. He's a Master Grade. He's cheap. Go pick him up. About forty-five dollars at a what is it? A Taco Fuel around the same, around the 30, high 30, low 40 range in Hobby Link Japan, and you can also try Hobby Wave. Um, yep, that's it. If you have any more questions about Wing Zero or any other, um, yeah, if you have, yeah, if you have any other questions about Wing Zero or anything else, feel free to message me, comment me down below so I can see it. Message me, hit me up, leave a comment on my main page. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I'll see you guys uh, the next update. Peace out.